Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Audio Tips. In today's tutorial, uh, we're going to briefly take you into the audio effects folder of, uh, of Logic Pro. I'm going to basically open up a plugin called Clip Distortion. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about it, show you what kind of options the plugin has to offer, uh, give you guys a little input on it, you know, just get you guys a little bit more familiar with the plugin. This is mostly for beginners and new users to, to, uh, to Logic Pro. Just remember that uh, if you do have Logic Pro and you open audio effects, you will have all, all these uh, <coughs> plugins at your disposal. You do not have to purchase these. Um, uh, we're going to go into distortion. The clip distortion is going to look a little something like this. Um, uh, you guys got your drive, you guys got your tone, you guys got your clip filter and mix, how much you want it to mix in, high shelving frequencies, um, uh, and how much gain you guys want on it. Basically, the best way to learn this uh, is to go in, uh, put it on a track, put it on an instrument track, something like that. Uh, Play around with the faders, see what kind of uh, see what kind of effects you guys can get out of it. Um, usually, you guys will know. You guys will you guys will know if it's a little too much or if it's a little too less, to uh, too little, or you guys will know if it just sucks. Period. But uh, I, I just say uh, go in, practice it, see what kind of effects you guys can get out of it. And if you guys can't seem to get a crack at it later on in my future videos, I'm gonna open up this plugin onto a track and I'm gonna show you guys how I use it and give you guys a little bit more information on it. You know, teach you guys a couple lessons. Uh, but this is it for right now. This is how Clip Distortion looks. Um, thank you guys for watching the video. Um, uh, please subscribe, and hopefully you guys will get a, a positive uh, effect out of it. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.